Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Scrapman, bringing you a first look at something that blew my mind. Oh boy, this guy's coming after me here. So this is a game in which you get to control real life robots. Like this is not computer generated graphics. This we are not in a computer generated map here. This is a real person controlling a real robot with real physics somewhere in the real world. This is in real life. Like, look at it. You, you, so I didn't believe it at first. I'm like, is this just a really, really well done computer generation or like pictures mapped onto some models or something? But no, we are in the real world controlling this robot right now. We have a robot tank. I'm just going to follow this guy because this is the first time I've actually seen somebody in here. But anyway, this game is called Isotopium and we are in a scale model of Chernobyl. It's in super early development right now. They only have a, a Kickstarter page. They have 10 robots. As they get more funds and stuff, they're going to be expanding to more robots, bigger expansion of the Chernobyl model, and things like that. Where's this guy going? But um, it's free to play. At you can pl you can demo the game for like 20 minutes or so. I think you can see up in the top left. I have an energy uh, amount, and I think it amounts to like one energy per minute. But basically, the goal of the game is to explore Chernobyl. And there's even ways to interact with the map um, and get points. You can see I have these um, these different isotope things up here. And you can find them across the map and actually interact with them in a certain way. If I bring up my controls, uh, space is to take isotope. So I'm assuming that there's some type of sensor thing. When I press space, that happens. But then the real world object actually responds. And uh, I'm actually going to mute the in-game uh, sound. I'm going to keep the music on. But uh, the robot noise I find is kind of annoying. So here's an example of the robot here. You can watch, you can see the real world physics as I bump into this robot here. Like this is, this is what we're controlling, this little robot. And the cool thing is you can see um, these things right here are actually flippers. If I press Q and E, you can't see it. Oh, there we go. It actually flips you. So if you accidentally flip yourself over, you can roll yourself. Chernobyl, for those of you who might not know, was a, uh, a power, particular power plant. I might actually get some of this wrong. I'm just going based off of my general knowledge here. But uh, basically, it melted down and a lot of radiation, a lot of people. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, hold on a sec. I seem to be stuck going forward. I can't stop myself from going forward. Uh oh. I, I broke the robot. Why does this always happen whenever I play? Get oh, wait. Maybe I'm not stuck going forward. Maybe there's a person pushing me. I think there's a person behind me right now pushing me. Hold on a second here. I gotta turn. I can't turn around. What is he doing? I think it's a guy. Hold on. Please let me turn around. Is he behind me? He's beside me now, I think. I think he's right to my... There he is. Look at that. I, I thought my robot was broken. You little... Oh, we can wave to each other. Hi. Uh, hi. <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> Oh, I love this. This is I'm so glad. Uh oh, I think he tried to just left. You can see the player count here. Playing now is only one. It went from two to one. I think he left. Oh, that is so funny. I thought my robot was broken, but this guy was just pushing me. All right, so let's explore Chernobyl. I want to see if I can find some of these uh, isotopes to show you what this is all about. So you can explore anywhere pretty much. Like we can go inside this building here if I get my controls and don't crash. Can we make it up this ramp? Uh, oh, whoa, 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 what kind of, what kind of terrain is this? Uh-oh, uh-oh, I don't know if we have enough traction to get up here. Did we just get ourselves stuck? It is probably possible to get stuck somewhere. I hope we can load into a new robot if that happens, though. It appears that my tires do not have enough friction. Can I get back the way I came, though? It looks like I can. Okay, good. So as the game develops, they're going to be planning on introducing more robots. Oh, we have a little uh ambulance or something there more robots and more types of robots so that would be kind of cool to see i'll leave a link to the kickstarter page because they have a lot more info and even like development pictures of people in this map so you can get the scale but from what i know the robots that we're driving are around 12 inches long i think so they're about a foot long and uh so that gives kind of a perspective of how big everything is around me here so we have different control. Oh, I think I have my light on actually. I'll turn that off to save some battery. I don't know how long the batteries even last on these things. What happens if I run out of battery? Uh, let's see if we can go inside. Oh, I see a ramp right over here. Let's see if we can go inside of this garage, find ourselves an isotope maybe, and I'll show you how the isotope things work. 
So if you want to keep playing the game after you've run out of battery, if it's uh, if it keeps your interest that long and you really just want to keep playing with some robots, then you are able to just buy more energy. And that's kind of how they're getting some funds as well. So I decided to buy more energy so I could show you guys this game. I know that it doesn't really fit um, the normal genre of the channel, but then again, it doesn't really fit the normal genre of any game I've ever played. So here we go. I just turned on my light. You can definitely see the effect. It's very, very useful. Oh, here's an isotope. So this is an isotope. So if I turn off my light, you can see it glowing there. So let's go up to the isotope. And I'm assuming that this is the sensor right there. So if I line up with that sensor, go on up to it, press space. There we go. We just got an isotope. Now you can see up in the top left, I have one red isotope. All right. What is this? Is this a... That is probably not in English. I'm not going to be able to read it. Oh, wait. Uh... Nope, I cannot read that. Either either I just can't focus in on it enough or it's in a different language. I'm assuming it's in a different language since we're in Chernobyl though. All right, so let's see if we can find any more hidden nooks and crannies. I want to go maybe over there. That place, that place looks easy enough to get into. Oh, is this is this the the pool? I, I've, I've played some games with like some Chernobyl maps and stuff, but this looks like a, maybe it's a parking garage. I don't know. Uh, let's see. I mean, we can explore in there. And can I fit through here? I don't know if I can actually fit through here. Oh, I actually fit. Okay, the, it's deceiving how wide my uh, vehicle is. But I'm pretty sure we can see edge to edge. So as long as we can fit our camera through, then we should be able to fit through. Now, are we going to find any isotopes in here? So after you get an isotope, supposedly they... Oh, I think I just saw one. Is that one? Yep, there we go. We have an isotope. I think after a certain amount of time, they regenerate. And then they kind of randomly select whether they're going to be red, green, or blue at different probabilities. So red is super common, green is uncommon, and blue is like super rare apparently. But they're worth different amounts of values. I've only ever seen red. If I see a green or a blue, I'll be super excited. All right, and let's take this isotope. There we go. We got another isotope. And you can also use this, these red isotopes, and I'm assuming the green and blue. You can actually, oh, there's one up there. You can actually buy more energy with the in-game isotopes. So there's a chance that you can get yourself a little bit more playtime by playing effectively. All right, how do we get up though? How do we get up to the next level? I'm not seeing another ramp just yet. Maybe this is a ramp over here. Hold on. Part of me almost wants to, oh, this is a ramp. So on the other side, I should be able to go up. Part of me wishes I could turn my camera without having to turn my entire tank. But I guess it, this tank design is probably just a lot simpler than that. Uh, I'm having a little bit of trouble turning here. There's a lot of debris on the ground here. All right. This is a very skinny walkway. I mean, ramp. Uh-oh. Oh, I thought I bottomed out for a sec. All right. There we go. We got ourselves another isotope. Excellent. All right. How far do I have to be? Let's, let's actually test this out. Can I get it from this far? Nope. How about this far? Nope. Wow, you actually really have to get close. Wait, how... Wow, you have to be, like, right up against it. Okay. Well, that's kind of good, because then you can't, like, snipe it from far away if uh, other people were going after it. I think I see another one over there. Let's try to get over to that one. Man, take, take, take some time to appreciate these models. Like, look at this, like, fallen debris and stuff. Like, this stuff was all put here, and these were made by people. Like, this is... This is not computer procedurally generated stuff. This is physical labor. This is not computer generated at all. And that's what really blows my mind about this game. And the response time too. Like the response time, clearly you can see I'm able to navigate. I've had worse input lag on actual video games. <laughs> not not naming any names though. <laughs> Crap, I can't. <laughs> all right, let's get, looks like this is the top of the parking parking garage. You can see you can actually see like the canvas that's supposed to be sky. You can, oh, and the ceiling. You can see the ceiling. You can kind of see like the space that we're in right now. This is so awesome. All right, well, let's keep on exploring. What is that? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to read Russian. Oh, so somebody's gotten this one recently, apparently, because you can see the lights off. What is this? I don't know what that is. I wish I could read Russian. That'd make this even more like immersive. Actually, I guess it's kind of immersive since I don't understand Russian and then I can't understand anything that's happening. 
All right, I should have kept my sound uh, when when that guy was uh, pushing me. I guess if I didn't turn my in-game sound off, I would have been able to hear him doing things. But that was kind of funny that we actually waved at each other. Oh, I forgot. There's actually a chat. He was probably saying hi. Oh, whoops. Was he an admin? Oh man, I didn't even notice. I wonder if that. W I wonder if it was an actual admin like talking to me, or if it was a uh, person that just called themselves admin. I mean, by the look of it, his name is bolder than the rest of them, so that might have been like an actual developer or something. I don't know. I hope they see this video. That'd be pretty cool. All right, let's see if we can. Part of me just got the really bad idea to try to jump out of a window. <laughs> Oh, we won't be able to. If I'm looking at it, our wheels don't seem to extend past the front of our vehicle. So we won't actually be able to... No, yeah, see, we can't pick ourselves up. If it was, if they were extending in front of our vehicle, we'd be able to get traction and pick ourselves up and uh, jump out of the window. But I'm sure they don't want us throwing their robots around. That's probably not going to be the most sustainable game project. All right, so I'm going to try to get myself out of this building and we're going to go explore some more buildings. See if we can find some more isotopes, maybe something a little bit more rare than red, which I don't know what the actual probabilities are, but I guess we'll find out. All right, we are outside of the building that we were just in. I don't even know what necessarily it was or what to call it. Let's go mess around with this thing. This is like a free object, I'm pretty sure, that we could push. I hope it's not like jammed or stuck there, which it probably is, which is why it's there in the first place. But um, as I said, there are 10 robots total right now. So I'm pretty sure as is, if this game like gets a boost in popularity, then um, it's going to be hard to get room for available robots. But uh, that's going to be probably one of the bigger limits to uh, popularizing this game is actually getting, getting it to be able to accommodate enough people. But it looks like this thing's been jammed in here pretty well. So I don't think I'm going to be able to remove this guy. And I don't want to get myself stuck. So maybe we can find another free floating one somewhere and then we can push it around. Oh, maybe there's an isotope over here. Let's find out. And oh, there was somebody's taken it. Hmm. I wonder how I don't know how long it takes for the isotopes to actually regenerate, though. All right, let's just keep keep on keep on keeping on. See what else this world of Chernobyl has to offer. I think there was a garage to my right that might have something in it. Oh, I can't actually see the corner over here. Oh, no, nothing in there. It's just a garage of some sorts. We've got some radioactive signs there. Stop. Well, at least the stop signs are in English, so I can read that. But uh, that ain't going to stop me. <laughs> All right, what are we doing over here? Is this a ball? Oh, I think I saw it in some of the... Um, yeah, that's. it's a little... It's a little, like, uh, sponge ball. Whoa! Oh! Oh, awesome! We can play, like, totally accurate Rocket League. <laughs> Look at the dust it's picked up, too. I'm afraid I'm gonna get stuck on top of this ball, because it, like, compresses as I push it. Ready? Eh? Oh, that's awesome. That is just awesome right there. I think there's supposed to be an actual, like, soccer field or something somewhere. I don't know. Ooh. Oh, I see glowing red. We got an isotope in here. Whoa, what is this thing? That's kind of crazy. I don't know what that is. What is that supposed to be? All right, here we go. Let's get this isotope. Oh, not close enough. Get this isotope. There we go. All right, we got five isotopes so far. Let's see if we can... Oh, I saw the yellow, and I thought it might have been green or something, but it's just the lights. All right, it is so ominous in here. It is, like, really ominous in here. This music doesn't help either. Oh. Whoa. What do we got going on over here? What is this? We got some rough ground here. Huh. Okay. There must be stuff in this place. There's like so many different hallways and rooms. I'm not seeing any red glows or green glows though. So I'm assuming that there's nothing down there. But I just wanted to check just in case. Man, there's so many rooms. Now, I wonder, like, with all these people driving robots around and just, like, leaving them places. Oh, is this an isotope? That used to be an isotope. All right, somebody's been here recent enough that the isotopes haven't recharged. But I wonder, like, can are we taking these bots in places that they can't really reach easily? Like, how are they supposed to retrieve the bots if they run out of battery 
inside like a nook and cranny and do they even know where they are do they have to go like scavenger hunting every single time they want to reset the bots i don't know i honestly don't know how this works all right this building is kind of freaking me out i'm gonna uh uh try to find my way out of oh there we go i got lost for a second i'm trying to find my way out of here let's go to a different building this building seems a little bit too complex and then we'll see if we can find another set of isotopes or maybe something else to play with actually my ball should be out here Oh, there's the hangar. Oh, ooh, look at that. Inside the hangar. I don't know why I didn't check in here in the first place. Oh, no. Oh, no. Can I not go inside? Please. Please, let me in. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Just gotta, just gotta get some momentum is all. All right, where's my ball? There's my ball. Let's see how far we can take this ball with us. It's kind of like when you find, when you're walking down the road and you find that rock in the middle of the road and you just start kicking it and uh, you just... Keep on kicking it until it finally goes somewhere that you're just too low. Uh-oh. My worst fears have just been realized. Okay. All right. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> but you just keep on kicking it as far as you can until uh, it goes too far away. But then, like, you still kind of... You still kind of... Oh, no, 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 no. You still kind of consider maybe I'll just walk an extra 20 feet out of my way to go get that rock back. Where? Where? Get, get back here. I want... This is actually surprisingly hard to get this ball to go in the direction that I'm intending. All right, all right, there we, I can't back up enough to, oh, there we go, there we go, perfect. Perfect, yes, we're doing it. We're do, uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> Man, imagine, like this is making me imagine what it would be like if video games, like with this kind of stuff, actually had perfect physics. Cause this is definitely behaving not like I would really expect in a video game it's already too realistic it's like this is so realistic it doesn't feel doesn't feel right like that's just annoying the ball just rolled into this little cranny and uh i don't even feel like getting out sorry you lost my interest ball i'm gonna go find somewhere else to play but i'm glad we found the ball i don't, I don't know if there's more than one all right let's go look at these trees and I'm just remembering this is like a, this is a tiny scale model. These are not real trees. I mean, they're probably real sticks, but they're they're made to look like bigger trees. And I think they've done a good job on that. All right, we're we're at the edge of the map right now. I don't know if there's anything. But oh, here we go. What is this building? Have I? I think I was in this building, but just from a different angle. Where are we? Can we? All right, there we go. We got another one. We got six isotopes so far. It looks like this is just a back entrance to a, a building that I think I've been around the front way, but I'm not really positive. Can I not fit through here? How did I get in here? Oh, that way is clearly wider. That makes sense now. Oh, I see another isotope. Just like out in the open over here, underneath this bridge. And there's like some dark, dark garage right there, which tells me there's probably not an isotope in there. Otherwise, I would see a red glow. All right, let's go grab this one. I feel like there's some more buildings that I probably haven't seen that might have some interesting insides, but let's see what happens if we go in here. Oh boy, oh no way. Am I gonna be able to, I'm gonna get stuck. I am so gonna get stuck in here. Look at this stuff, look at the detail. Like there's a table with like parts on it. And it's, look at it, is that supposed to be a tire or like a spool of something? The details in here are just awesome. And I'm, I'm, oh, thought I was stuck. I'm making it. I don't know where I'm making it, but I'm making it. All right, like, look at this. We got a shelf. All kinds of weird things. Oh, I see an isotope. All right, let's go up this ramp, get this isotope if I can. Oh, it's tough. And yes, I wasn't sure if my angle was going to be good to get the sensor, but I got it. All right, now we can go ahead and head out of this creepy place. Like, I'm so like, this is bold to me right here. This looks like a really tight space. And I'm just imagining how difficult is it to make a world like this where, with even with all this just random debris around, where your bot isn't gonna get stuck. Like, I'm surprised I haven't gotten stuck yet with all the places I've been trying to get myself into. All right, well, another successful venture into a uh, old abandoned building. And more energy achieved. We've got 37 left uh, of energy and 11 isotopes obtained. All right, where am I going? I remember this area. I remember trying to play with that thing. Uh, let's, 
Did I go down? I went down that way, I think. So let's go down over here. There's some big buildings over here. Is that a real thing or is that like on the background? That smokestack. I don't know. Oh, there's my ball. Oh, I did come from that way. I remember pushing the ball from that way. I feel like I'm lost now. I feel like there's more to this area that I haven't discovered because there's that... Where's the... I haven't seen the Ferris wheel in a, in a while. I know that there's a Ferris wheel somewhere around here. Let's see if we can find the Ferris wheel again and explore what's around that Ferris wheel. I didn't take a really good close look at it. Okay, that's a dead end. Oh, I see another isotope. Okay. All right. Well, this is some place I definitely haven't been then. Unless it's an isotope that regenerated, but I certainly don't recognize it. It's just in this corner over here. All right. There we are. 12 isotopes. Man, my first playthrough, I only really found three, but I was more just like having fun with just the fact that I was controlling something in real life. Like, I am so impressed with the responsiveness of this. Oh, no, I went that way already. Where's the Ferris wheel? I'm so lost right now. Just because there's a bunch. Oh, oh, there's a map. There's a map. We have a map. Uh, there's the fa Where am I? Oh, see, look, here's the soccer field. I was right. So I am, I'm near the smokestacks. Oh, here we go. I am in this area here. All right, all right. I'm somewhere in this area. I don't, I think I just went to this corner. So I must be going this way. I don't actually know. Hold on. Let's find out what's over here. I should see... Oh, there's an isotope over there. Let's get that isotope. There's the... Oh, I am right. All right, so now I am facing... I am... I just think I just came out of here. I'm facing, like, this direction. Okay, so let's go... We're gonna go grab the isotope that's over here. We're gonna go check out the Ferris wheel area. And then we'll go down and find the soccer field. Which, um... Is probably not gonna have the ball at it. Because we were playing with it. Yeah, there's the... There's the wheel. Okay. All right, I got my bearings back. I forgot that there was an actual map. This is awesome. All right, we got the isotope. 13 so far. Actually, I kind of want to go this way. Look at the rockiness. Whoa. Just looking at this, I don't even know what to call it. Our artwork? I mean, I guess it's still kind of artwork. All right. Nobody else is playing with me. What is that? Whoa. Whoa. All right, we got another ambulance over here. I wonder if it's a static ambulance or if I can push it around. Oh, I could definitely push it around. What else is in here, though? Uh, how did it get in here? I mean, somebody must have pushed it in here. Oh, another isotope. Look at that. Man, it is your, our field of view is really, really limited. You, I still can be right next to you, and you have no peripherals, like, at all. All right, let's get on out of here. Go over to the, uh, what do you, what do you call it? The, the Ferris wheel, like we said. All right. Oh, yeah, this is where my, our friend was pushing us. All right, let's actually get a close-up, close-up look at this Ferris wheel. Oh, there's a house. I didn't notice that house before. How sturdy is this fence, do you think? All right, pretty sturdy. You can see it bend a little bit, but uh, it's got some decent resistance. I was wondering if I could knock it over. Okay, let's go for the post. Eh, eh. Yeah, it's uh, it's too sturdy. We're not going to be able to do that. Here, I'll turn my light off to save some battery. All right, look at that. Like, this is pretty cool. Like, this stuff is, it's still kind of blowing my mind, the fact that I feel like I'm playing a video game, and I'm exploring an open, well, open-ish world right now. Like, I can just go wherever I want. <coughs> but at the same time, it's a real, this is moving somewhere in the real world. Like, that's still a thing that I have to remind myself. Like, somebody could be watching me right now. Like, a person could actually be watching this robot move around, wondering who's controlling this thing. And what are they doing? And where are they in the world? And why are they doing this? And little do they know that this is going to be broadcast to all of my subscribers. So uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments of this game. I'm probably just going to do this one episode because I feel like we've explored uh, enough of what the map has to offer. And I think this is supposed to be the soccer field. Are there, there don't appear to be actual nets on it. Just some like posts and stuff that you could use. But how cool is this? Was there an actual soccer field at Chernobyl? I don't know. 
I mean, just this whole entire concept blows my mind, and I'm, I am I, I at least have the opportunity to give it some exposure. So uh, check out the links down in the description if you want to learn more about the game and follow its development progress. I think it's a really awesome idea. Obviously, there's some limitations when it comes to the uh, available player base. There's probably going to be some pretty long queues if this type of uh, gameplay takes off. I'm really looking forward to seeing where something like this goes. So leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought of this. What would you have done? Or what did you do if you went and check out the game? Did you find anything that I was missing? Anything particularly cool? Let me know if you found any other types of elements or isotopes rather. But uh, the sign is telling me to stop. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the episode here. Looking forward to your feedback. This has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.